it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful August day. So, I have come back from my lovely week away. It was fabulous. Yes, I have the holiday blues. But I am also glad to be back in my own bed. There's nothing quite like being in your own bed. And escaping the mosquitoes because... There were so many mosquitoes there, guys. It was unbelievable. And we've all been bitten to bits. So they've had their fair share of blood from us. I can tell you that. Anyway, so back to crafting, in particular, floss tube. So I received this package a couple of weeks ago now. Um, I actually was meant to record this video um, probably the night before that I went in order for it to go up for this Friday just gone but unfortunately it just didn't happen guys it just didn't happen but now I'm going to record it today it's Sunday today and um, yeah I'm going to record this video it is from VIP cross stitch so obviously I've done many collaboration videos with them so a huge thank you once again to VIP cross stitch and before I start unbagging unboxing even if I could ask you to please like subscribe share comment down below follow me on TikTok and Instagram on crazy borgies diamond art and hit that little notification bell which will notify you of my future video uploads I am filming outside guys so I do apologize for any background noise that you may hear there's not a lot to be honest with you um, other than a few birds and that's not Rio this evening so let's get started so i do have a discount code for vip cross stitch which i'm gonna put in the video description box along with all the products that i show in today's video and a link directly to their store so you can hop on and have a little window shop and um yeah let's get started so let's have a look and see now oh. Oh, I can see something interesting. The first one, I've got one, two, oh lovely, three products to show you guys. The first one I'm going to show you is, yes, it's another Spongebob kit. It is, and there's a reason behind my craziness for ordering this one. It's an 11 count stamped cross stitch. And let's have a look at it. Have a look at the paper chart first. As usual, I'm going to tell you the prices of each item at the end of the video. Oh, it's been printed on this really shiny paper. Lovely. Okay, so we have the picture, a large picture. We have the instructions there with all the different stitches. And then we have the paper print. This one has 44 colours. Wow. 44 colours in four cross stitch with all the DMC codes there. That's a lot of colours. And I got it because I wanted to see how they charted up Squidward. Squidward? I think that's his name. I wanted to see what colours they were going to use for him in this one. So then I could get those colours for the other one that I have. Um, let's have a look here. So Squidward is... See, I'm trying to look here to see where his symbol is. 927. Yeah, I do believe that is a blue shade. So we should be alright. 
he does have some 3811 on him as well. Got 37, 23, and 25, 932, okay. 37 is 3811. Okay, so he has a mixture of different blues from what I'm thinking here. Number 8. Okay. So that means I can potentially see which ones to order for my other kit as well. Because I do want to do this kit and that kit. But yes, anyway, so the print is really quite good. Although I would have liked to have seen it a little bit larger. But, you know, it is what it is. I can see it quite well, to be honest with you. We do have some confetti areas. Mainly on the characters themselves. Apart from Spongebob. He only has a little bit around outlining his eyes well actually you know we do have parts of confetti on spongebob ever so slightly but from what i can see it looks like they're all interlinked so we should be okay we should be okay with this so there is no other um there's no other stitches other than full cross stitch so no back stitch anything like that this one is 40 by 60 centimetres, 148 stitches by 234. So quite, quite a large one, if I'm honest. But, and in the instructions, as usual, we have how to choose strands, how to choose the thread colour, pardon me. <clears throat> and cleaning and maintenance and just little some little notes as well and also some stitches as well showing you how to actually cross stitch so yes that is my first one 44 colors though that's been charted very well so that usually means the more colours, the more detail. Although you wouldn't think there'd be that many in the actual picture here. But let's have a look at the actual, at the actual Ada cloth itself. And the kit that comes with it is a standard kit. Well, it's a little bit of an upgraded kit. So we've got a thimble there, a puff ball with one, two, three, four, five needles in there and a little needle threader. So that's a really good kit as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this one in two halves, I think, because I'm on my little pull-out table and... My camera angle is a bit dodgy tonight, guys. So I do apologise. But this is the half, first half of it. I'm just trying to see. It's all surged around the outside, as usual. There's our thumbnail there. We do have a deep, dark blue background on this one. And I'm happy to say that all the symbols seem really clear on this one. Being an 11 count, you shouldn't struggle to see these symbols at all. But, yeah, it looks quite a nice stitch to be fair. But then again, so did the other one. So there's Mr Spongebob. So we do have parts of it that have confetti in, but it's not too bad, the confetti. It's manageable. So, yes. 
trying to see what colours 42 is 3844. Let me see if there's any 310 in here. There is red, so this is going to be 310 inside Patrick's mouth. And some outlining here around SpongeBob as well. There's parts, there's little scatters of 310 floating around but not too much mainly just like the eyes as well yeah it, it looks quite an easy one actually but you know we shall see we shall see when I start it yes it's really nice Ada cloth not too stiff it's quite soft actually and yeah it just looks really nice can't fit it on my table that way so i'm just going to show you no that doesn't work does it um see i would put you on my other table but unfortunately my other table is a bit wet because it's had it's been raining today here so my garden table is a bit wet and obviously if you get this wet your stamp is going to be ruined yes but lovely and it's important to say once you finish this that the stamp will wash out once you put it in water okay and I've lost my trail of thought here guys hang on give me a second the size 40 by 60 is the overall size of the Ada cloth, not the stitching area. Just like diamond painting, okay? So yes, it's a very, very nice kit, this one. Fingers crossed. I'm going to be hopeful. I'm feeling hopeful for this one, most definitely. Let's have a look at the colours. Okay, so we've got some extra yellow there. Just giving the floss a shake, guys, because you must shake it. I would always suggest shaking it for a bit because you don't know how long it's been wrapped up in the factory for. And it's come a long way as well, so lovely but gorgeous colors okay these colors are gorgeous wow grays pinks greens dark gray brown Hang on. it's another dark rich green there Another rich blue, that's a gorgeous shade of blue, isn't it? Another green, hot pink, red, another green, then like a an off-white colour that one. And then another brown and another purple. There we go. So lovely. That's our 310 there, the black. So lovely. Lovely jubbly. Lovely colours as always. And it feels really nice and soft, this floss. So beautiful. And then colours number 19 to 36. So dark blue. Browns. Greys, blues again, browns again, gorgeous, really nice colour palette actually. Hang on a second, there is the one that's got away here, look, he just fell out and I'll put him back on there in a minute. There we 
another guy. But gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous colour palette. Very nice condition of the floss as well. Yes, very nice, very nice indeed. And lots of it, guys, lots of it. There we go. It's lovely, isn't it? Really soft, really soft. Got some more colours now. Hang on, because we've got a few more. Because there is quite a lot in this kit of colours of floss 44 colours. So, just trying to. There we go. We've got mint green. Another rich green. Yellows, purples, blues, a soft brown, and then a white, well, a creamy white. But lovely. Lovely colours, lovely floss. Right, give me one second while I put this away and I will get the next kit out. Hold on. Okay, right, I'm back with the next kit. So this is, I've moved actually onto my table because my table is dry now. This one is a Joy Sunday kit and it is on pre-printed fabric, so stamped kit once again. And it's called... South Korea's small scenery, blah, blah, blah. there's too many S's for me. South Korea's small scenery autumn. It's 16 by 16 centimeters and it's a 14 count, which is two strands. Okay, so yes, that is the next kit that I chose. So let's have a look, open it up, and see what we get. So the thing I love about Joy Sunday is they come in these little little Ziploc bags which are great for when you're actually stitching. So you can put it away nice and safely and get, take it anywhere you want, especially if you're stitching hand. So as usual, we get all the instructions on the back of the little Ziploc bag. And yes, that's the picture that I chose. Now I'm hoping that it's not going to come out as pixelated but I can still clearly see what it is so I'm not too, too concerned. But yes. Okay, so it has 23 colours in full stitch. Okay. And they are nice, large, big boxes, so we can clearly see our symbols. There's our chart down below as well. There's no other back stitch, full stitch, uh, back stitch, French knots or anything like that. It's all full stitch. Okay. But it's important to remember that the symbols on the paper chart are different from the ones on the Ada cloth itself because that's just how Joy Sunday do it. I don't have any idea why. So it's just the way that it is. It's 62 by 62. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. 
62 by 62 stitches. That can't be right. Or can it? Might be. Yeah. Yes, it is. 62 by 62 stitches. Okay. And it is 14 count. Oh my gosh, it's so dinky, guys. Oh, look, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. This is going to be great fun to do. Symbols are nice and clear. Not too much confetti. Nice, easy cross stitch there. Yeah, lovely. That's going to be really cute. We get our two, two uh, needles in there in a nice little tiny ziplock bag there and only 23 colours on this one so lovely it's just so cute isn't it that is gorgeous this would be great for a beginner actually absolutely fabulous just trying to zoom in a bit Nope, my camera won't let me. My camera is playing up, guys. I'm not sure why. It just has decided it doesn't like me anymore. So there it is. It's 62 stitches by 62 stitches. You, you'd have to stitch in hand with this. You won't be able... I think it's too small to want to put it in a frame anyway, isn't it? So it's nice and clear, though. Right, let's have a look at these gorgeous colors put that to one side and we have 310 there purples reds grays browns greens yeah lots of greens in this one lovely this is a nice little snack size if you're just wanting to dip dip your toes into cross stitch. So yellows, greens, browns and just a little bit of white there. Lovely. So yeah, just a nice little snack size. Nothing too stressful lovely okay let me put this one away and i will be back with the next kit okay last kit now right next kit is an 11 count 50 by 50 centimeters yeah paper chart isn't big enough really it needs to be slightly bigger for sure but being an 11 count i'm not overly fussed it has come on that sticky shiny paper again there we go i'm going to show you the image in a minute so this paper chart i would have ideally liked to have seen a bit bigger because it's a bit blurry over here as well so maybe four, four squares enlarged to make just one square. One square enlarged to four squares. That's what I mean, yes. 28 colours on this one. We have all the DMC codes there. And that, I hope you can see because my camera is going a bit blurry. Doesn't like my lighting apparently. Can you see it guys? Hang on a second. It can't focus now. I hope you can see it. It's like two little birds. Hang on. Right, okay. I don't know what happened there, but that's the... Um, I think it was on the wrong setting let me just put on my light there we go that's better 
Honestly, what am I like? So it's like two little birdies kissing, rainbow coloured, with a black background. So yes. Okay. Let's have a look now at the actual Ada cloth itself. Comes with your instructions. Just trying to see where the kit is. Sometimes it just comes with a few stitches, no, a few, a few needles in the back, but it's not. Anyway, so this one is quite big, this one. Okay, so this one is, let me see, 182 by 182, I think. No, it's not, sorry. 190 by 190. And it is massive, guys. It is huge. Let me see if I can get you a bit higher so I can show you exactly how high, how big it is. Hang on. Okay, that's as big as I can get it because my camera won't allow me to turn... It won't allow me to use my... Or will it? Let's see. No, it says not available while using this lens. It won't allow me to turn the light on. But it's quite big. 190 by 190. It's 11 count. So, yes, we have all our DMC codes there. And the thumbnail just there. But, wow. It's been searched as well. And all the areas that have the large numbers in, those are the colour blocked areas. So we do have parts of it that are confetti, but nothing too, too mad. Okay, they're all interlinked. So let me just zoom you up so we can now look at the stamp quality, which is very good. It's very good stamp quality. You can clearly see those symbols there, which is fabulous. We do have a couple of symbols that are similar, mainly the red. They like charting in red a lot of the time. <sighs> okay. But it is it is a little bit tricky to see some of them. So be a bit careful when stitching and we do have our our paper chart as a guide as well but the paper chart needs to be printed larger and it needs to be printed clearer for sure so there we go there it is gorgeous so it is a gorgeous image I just hope it comes out nice lovely okay let's have a look at the floss now the best bit there's the kit okay which again is your thimble your needle threader a puff ball with one two three four, hang on let me count it this way hang on one two three four five five needles in there guys yeah five needles okay this one has like a little a bird or an image on there as well on the bag lovely so let's have a look at this beautiful cloth 28 colors on this one it's very colourful image, the birds. So we've got some extra hankies of dark purple there. And a blue. Let me just see. 307. Number one is going to be... Oh, 
Oh, okay, so the background isn't actually going to be 310. It's going to be this rich, dark purple, which is better. Lovely. Okay, and that's aqua blue. Okay, let me give these a shake. Wow, these colours are beautiful, guys. So 11 count of three strands. Okay. So, oh, they are gorgeous colours, very rainbow. So, colours number, let me just move this out of the way. Colours number 1 to 18. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. So colourful and vibrant. Yes. Lovely yellows, lilacs, reds, oranges. Some blues. It's like a creamy colour there. Lovely. That's a really lovely colour there as well. Just stunning. Very good quality as well. Just beautiful. And lots of it. And then on the other side is colours number 19 to 26. <gasps> Look at those blues, guys. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? Pinks, blues... And a really orangey sort of brown, light brown, would I say? Yeah, tan colour. Lovely. Those are just stunning colours. Really nice. I could play with these all day long, guys. Lovely. That is just delicious. Really nice, really nice. Okay. It's so hard sometimes to choose which kit to start working on next. And then I think, no, I've got enough whips in my cross stitch. I don't need any more. And then I get a new, a new promotion pack and I think, oh, but I really like that one. <laughs> it's so difficult, so difficult. Right, let me put this away and I'll hop on and I'll get the prices for you guys. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, guys, so I've been on their website. So the prices, so far as I can see on their website, I can't actually find SpongeBob. I think he might be out of stock. Um, so I can't actually tell you the price of that one at present. But this one, the uh, South Korea Small Scenery Autumn, 14 count is on the website for two dollars and seventy six cent two pounds and nineteen p okay which is a really good price especially for a joy sunday kit and then the colorful parrots okay that's on their website for twelve dollars twenty one cent nine pounds seventy one p okay so it is a, a who can design, I think. So I know there's a problem going around about the amount of colours that they use, but you know, I mean, this one seems to seems to be quite colourful, and it is only a fifty by fifty. So I'm not overly fussed about that being a who can um, a who can make. But anyway, thank you ever so much to VIP Cross Stitch for giving me, gifting me these products. As I said at the beginning of the video, I will link them in the video description box. And I will also put my discount code, which I am not an affiliate by any, any means. It is just purely to save you money. So you get a 10% discount code, which is Borgies10. B-O-R-G-I-E-S 10. Okay, guys? 
take care god bless please like subscribe share comment down below follow me on tiktok and instagram on crazy borgies diamond art and hit that little notification bell which will notify you of my future video uploads thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing even though i'm a bit wrecked from the drive yesterday it was long it was hard but i've survived it yes so thank you all for your lovely comments and i hope you have a blessed remainder of the day take care bye for now guys bye